In this example, I'm machining of a bracket, the next operation is defined to perform the finished machining of the circular face on the underside of the part. To open the iMachining Operation dialog box, double-click iRough Face Back in the cam tree. And by clicking the Show button on the Geometry page, we can see that two chains are defined, with the first being the outside boundary of the face, and the second being an offset edge created in SolidWorks. The first chain is marked as open, and the second offset chain is closed. Exit the Show Geometry dialog box by clicking Cancel. Switching to the tool page, you'll see that we are again using the half-inch diameter end mill. On the Levels page, we can see that the milling levels are defined. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used based on a machining level aggressiveness of 6. On the Technology page, you'll see there is no offset specified for the floor, meaning that the entire face will be machined down to the finished floor. Let's click Simulate now to take a look at the iMachining toolpath at work. Using the default HostCAD mode, click the Play button. We see that the tool starts from the outer chain and performs a spiral toolpath, collapsing towards the inner chain. Let's, lo let's also look at the simulation using Solid Verify. Click Play again to view the cutting tool moving through the solid stock material. Well, that just about does it for the bottom face machining. We can close the simulation control panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box with the exit buttons. Next, we'll take a look at the profile operation defined to perform the floor radius finishing.